The Basilica Cistern is the largest of several hundred ancient cisterns that lie beneath the city of Istanbul. Like several of the other cisterns, it was built using Roman building techniques and lies inside the historical peninsula. The structure is an underground reservoir that was used to store water for daily use in the city. The cistern has long been forgotten and partly filled with earth until its rediscovery in 1545. There are two heads of Medusa on display in the cistern, one is upright and the other on its side. Why they are there has been a subject of debate among historians for centuries, though some speculate that one may have been placed upside down as a form of protection against evil or misfortunes such as floods. Another hypothesis is that one is an original and one a copy. The Basilica Cistern is the largest of several hundred ancient cisterns that lie beneath the city of Istanbul. The cistern was built in 532 AD by Byzantine Emperor First Justinian and was one of the most important water supplies of Byzantine Constantinople. The roof of the cistern is supported by 336 marble columns, each 9 meters high and 1.8 meters wide, with a diameter varying from 1 to 3 meters. The building material used for its construction was stone and mortar with some brick reinforcement for the arches and vaults over naves at intervals along its length on both sides inside. It is a remarkable example of ancient engineering and architecture, because it contains a series of tunnels, staircases, and columns which have survived intact over 2,000 years after being constructed during Roman times. The cistern has long been forgotten and partly filled with earth until its rediscovery in 1545. The water system that served the palace had been built by Justinian in the 6th century, but it was not known where it was located for a very long time. In fact, it was only discovered when part of a column collapsed into the water inside of it. It is believed that these sculptures were meant to protect people from evil spirits and keep away any potential danger. The statues are made out of marble and are located at different points within the cistern. It's thought that this particular sculpture may have been used as a fountain. Why they are there has been a subject of debate among historians for centuries, though some speculate that one may have been placed upside down as a form of protection against evil. One author has even speculated that these Medusa sculptures supported a pedestal for the throne of a ruler such as Emperor First Justinian. However, it seems more likely that this structure was part of some kind of water control scheme. It would have been used to fill up cisterns connected by an aqueduct, or even simply to drain off excess rainwater into other parts of the city. This is an underground chamber in the form of a basilica, which has many distinctive features. The central nave is covered by a barrel vault made of brick and stone. It ends at two double-story semicircular towers on each side, connected by arches to the main structure. The arches bear three horizontal rows of bricks, forming a wave pattern that conveys their enormous weight. On both sides of the naves are galleries overhanging its sides and rising above slim columns with Corinthian style. These galleries provide access to ramps leading down to upper floors below ground level, which explains how they were able to construct this structure without scaffolding. This system has an octagonal plan and a roof with eight triangular sections, it has 336 columns in 12 rows of 28 each around the pool except for two sides where there are no columns. The 16th century painting, St. George and the Dragon, which depicts St. George slaying the dragon with his sword, is found on one section of this cistern's ceiling. The walls of this cistern have niches with carvings, showing scenes from hunting expeditions and other activities related to ancient Roman life such as fishing. It was used in the Byzantine period and served as a water cistern. The Basilica Cistern is located about 600 meters ahead of the Hippodrome and opposite the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey's largest city. The cistern features 336 white marble columns supporting its 336 vaults that are covered with lead sheets. These vaults are held up by 107 arches supported by columns made of porphyry stone blocks weighing 10 tons each. It took over 30 years for workers to build this amazing structure, after they began work in year 532 under Emperor Justinian's rule, he wanted something big enough for people at his palace nearby, but with no space left on land then decided to build beneath ground instead. 
The basilica system was built by first Justinian for the water supply of nearby places, including the Hagia Sophia. One legend says that the water which has been coming into the system for thousands of years, came from Athena's snake hair when she was killed by Medusa. The other legend says that there are an underground aqueduct from ancient Rome, which brought water to Constantinople with this cistern as a storage place for it. One of the most interesting facts about Basilica Cistern is that it was used as a cistern to provide water to the city. There are several theories on how this cistern came into existence. One suggests that they were taken from a captured enemy ship, while others believe that they were built by Romans as an underground reservoir in case of war or natural disasters. At the time of this construction, there was heavy flooding due to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which caused severe damage across Istanbul. This led people to believe that this was done so their city would be protected against any future floods or other natural disasters, such as earthquakes or volcanoes erupting again like what happened before when these systems were created only for such purposes. Another claims that they were placed there upside down to ward off evil. The Basilica system was built during Byzantine times, which was one of the most important periods in the history of Istanbul. It's a perfect example of how nature can be incorporated into architecture without compromising with aesthetics or design. The system is breathtakingly beautiful and it takes you back to those days when life wasn't as fast-paced as it is today. Today, it is one of the most famous places to visit while you are in Istanbul city. It can be helpful for you if you bring some water so that your body will not get dehydrated easily when visiting Basilica Cistern, which has high humidity levels. It is one of the largest ancient cisterns in Istanbul, holding 100,000 cubic meters of water at full capacity. There are architectural wonders that time hasn't affected since centuries ago, Basilica Cistern is one such marvel which deserves to be visited at least once in your lifetime. When you visit Istanbul, you must definitely see Basilica Cistern.